Hi all, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we will see some important multiple choice questions from Pharmaceutical Chemistry 1, Chapter Acids, Bases and Buffers. In last video, we already covered 10 multiple choice questions. If you didn't watch that video, you can check in the description box for that link. Here we will see some important multiple choice question from the same chapter. We are going to the first question of this video, question number 11. Buffers are generally mixtures of. Buffers are generally mixtures of. Option A, strong acid and its salt. Option B, weak acid and its salt. Option C, strong base and its salt. Option D, strong acid and strong base. Buffers are generally mixtures of. The correct answer is option B that is weak acid and its salt. We know that buffers are classified according to its chemical nature into three types. One is acidic or acidic buffer. Second one is basic buffer. Third one is neutral buffer. Based on the chemical nature, buffers are classified into three types. One is acidic buffer. Second one is basic buffer. Third one is neutral buffer. What is acidic buffer? Acidic buffer means it is a combination of weak acid and its corresponding salt with a strong base. Okay. What is acidic buffer? Acidic buffer is a combination of weak acid and its corresponding salt with a strong base. Example, we can say acetic acid and sodium acetate. Combination of acetic acid and sodium acetate. Okay. Next one is basic buffer. Basic buffer is combination of weak base and its corresponding salt with the strong base. I mean strong acid. Okay. Basic buffer is, is a combination of weak base and its corresponding salt with the strong acid. Example we can say ammonium hydroxide and ammonium chloride. Okay. It's a combination of ammonium hydroxide and ammonium chloride. It's an example for basic buffer. Now we covered acidic buffer and basic buffer. The third one is neutral buffer. Neutral buffer is a single substance which will show the properties of buffer. It is a salt of weak base and weak acid. Example, ammonium acetate. Ammonium acetate. Okay. What is neutral buffer? It is a single substance which shows the property of buffers. Okay, example is ammonium acetate. So here in this option, correct answer is option B that is weak acid and its salt. Okay, next one question number 12. Any substance that can conduct electricity is called. Any substance that can conduct electricity is called. Option A acid. Option B, electrolyte. Option C, hydrolyze. Option D, base. What is the correct answer? Any substance that can conduct electricity is called. Correct answer is option B, that is electrolyte. Electrolyte is the correct answer. Question number 13. It is a simple question, no need of explanation. Oh, question number 13. According to Lewis concept, according to the Lewis concept, option A, acid is a Acid is an electron pair donor. Option B, base is an electron pair donor. Option C, acid is proton donor. Option D, base is proton donor. According to the Lewis concept, the correct answer for this question is option B, that is base is an electron pair donor. We know that there are different types of acid base concept. One is Arrhenius concept. Another one is bronsted lowry concept. Third one is... Uh, Lewis concept and also there is a traditional concept also. Okay, Lewis concept. The question is about the Lewis concept. According to the Lewis concept, acid in a cell, acid is an electron pair acceptor. Acid in a, acid is an electron pair acceptor and base is an electron pair donor. Okay, according to the Lewis concept, it says acid is an electron pair acceptor and base is an electron pair donor the correct answer option b is the correct answer here and what is bronsted lowry concept it is saying about the 
proton that is acid is an proton donor acid is a proton donor and base is a proton acceptor acid is a proton donor and base is a proton acceptor that is bronsted lowry concept okay and the uh, arrhenius concept says about acid is h plus it acid is acid generate h plus ions and base generates oh minus ions okay these are the different types of acid base concept this i already discussed in the first video uh, now the 14th question ph represented by ph represented by ph is represented by option a ph is equal to minus log h plus concentration ph c option b ph is equal to log oh minus concentration option c ph is equal to log 1 by k concentration option i mean option d none okay ph it's a simple question ph is equal to minus log h plus minus log h plus is the correct answer option a is the correct answer so what is the con h plus concentration how you will calculate h plus ion concentration from the ph in the question ph is given here uh, ph is equal to minus log h plus so how we will find out the h plus ion concentration from the ph h plus ion concentration is equal to 10 raised to minus ph 10 raised to minus ph okay ph plus poh will be 14 ph plus poh is equal to 14 that's also you have to note question number 15 a solution that maintains the ph when acid or base are added okay in it a solution that maintains the ph when acids or bases are added in it is known as what is that solution is called option a neutral solution option b acidic solution option c buffer solution option d basic solution a solution that maintains the ph when acid or bases are added option c is the correct answer buffer solution or buffer is the correct answer option c is the correct answer one another important point regarding the buffer solution is its capacity or we will call it buffer capacity buffer capacity is the moles of strong acid number of moles of strong acids or strong base required to change the ph of 1 liter or 1000 milliliter of buffer solution by one unit it is called buffer capacity what is buffer capacity it is the number of moles of strong acid or strong base required to change the ph of 1 liter of buffer solution or 1000 milliliter of buffer solution by one unit that is called buffer capacity question number 16 when acid react with the base dash is formed dash are formed when acid reacts with base dash are formed option a salt only option b water only option c salt and water option d other correct answer is salt and water when an acid reacts with base uh, the product will be salt and water correct answer is option c question number 17 a substance that on dissolving in water gives hydroxyl ion is called a substance that on dissolving in water gives hydroxyl ion is called option a base option b proton option c acid option d electron correct answer is option a that is base that we one we already discussed in the arrhenius concept of acid and base okay a substance that on dissolving water gives hydroxyl ion is called base okay question number 18 if solution contain more h plus ions than oh minus ions then that solution is if solution contains more h plus ions than oh minus ions then that solution is option a basic option b acidic option c neutral option d none of the above correct answer is acidic option b is the correct answer why because it contains more h plus ions than oh minus ion that's why it is acidic question number 19 the term ph is given by the term ph is given by option a griffin option b sorensen option c arrhenius option d g n lewis 
who gave the term ph correct answer is option b that is sorensen is the correct answer question number 20 uh, last question of this video the solutions with ph value less than 7 are called solutions with the ph value less than 7 are called option a acidic solution option b buffers option c basic solution option d alkalis correct answer is acidic solution Op uh, if the ph level is less than 7 then acidic solution if the ph level is more than 7 then it is basic solution and if the ph is 7 then it is neutral solution okay these are the uh, 10 important question from this chapter acid base and buffers thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please make a thumbs up and also subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell button so that you will get the notification whenever i upload new videos thank you